Subriyo, it's uh, nice to have you here in the Science Film Festival. And uh, what I would no I have noticed that you always go back to the issues of uh, partition, borders, division of people, etc. You are so concerned with you know these sort of issues. Tell us uh, something about this because. The hope dies last is about the Indo Park uh, you know, prisoners uh, and uh, our grandparents' home is you know of 16 young scholars from India and Bangladesh going to there again. So tell us about this aspect you know, of your films. Yeah, actually I'm born in a refugee family. Oh. You know my parents uh, they had to leave uh, East Pakistan now which is Bangladesh. In nine, during 1950, there was a massive riot. The biggest riot in East Pakistan happened in 1950 in Borishal. So they used to live there. So they had to flee their homeland uh, overnight without anything. So and when they were settled here, it was not settlement. Even there was no opportunity, nothing. And uh, government talked about a lot of policies for the refugees, but uh, uh, on the ground there was nothing. So, they had to struggle a lot for years after years, decades after decades to re-establish themselves uh, from zero, you know, in a foreign land, so-called foreign land. So, I the entire thing started from your own experience, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, I used to listen to the stories of their homeland about the riot, partition and everything. When they used to get together, they used to tell, uh, uh, about the stories you know also my mother was quite fascinated she was quite young when she uh, left it was 11 year old so she used to tell i mean they were not married there so they met each other here in india only so she used to tell all the uh, you know very romantic stories about the homeland the village the river the forest and the relationship between uh, two communities so all these memories actually etched in my mind, in my conscious and subconscious. Yeah. So, so it is a kind of remembrance of things past. Of her yeah. Life. Then when I uh, grew up, I have developed a certain kind of academic interest also about partition. And I realized that uh, there is not much uh, is told about partition, not many films, not many research work. I am talking about like uh, early 90s and yeah. So uh, and whatever information uh, history books offered or mainstream narrative offered is always about the official history. So I am, uh, but I knew there are so many uh, stories uh, 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 are lying there beyond yeah beyond that and uh, if, uh, and uh, like people who really suffered they have a lot of things to say so that is uh, a very important uh, uh, reason that i decided to make film on partition and first thing i did is when i uh, became a filmmaker so i wanted to uh, make uh, films on partition I, why I ask this uh, because now in the context of Kashmir and Pakistan, this is again more no, relevant, the Pakistan issue and Kashmir, all those things. No? It's again. Yeah, see, to, see, partition actually changed the destiny of the subcontinent forever. So, like, uh, uh, see, against the British, we uh, fought the British uh, unitedly. But it's such a tragedy that when British left, we became independent. We we started fighting with each other during the time of independence, and the result is we have two countries. Then we have three countries, and the minorities. I mean, it, see, you cannot move a uh, human being like this. Human being uh, are not movable properties. So many people retain in India, remain in India in Bangladesh, in Pakistan. So, I mean, especially for the minorities, it, it has been always a uh, hell kind of experience, be it in Pakistan, be it in India or be it in Bangladesh. So, we have uh, given birth a long term uh, problem by ourselves. So, uh, 
so uh, and I thought I need to address this issue because there are so many aspects of uh, partition. When I started researching about it, I realized that uh, only one film cannot uh, address uh, the issue. So the first film was very personal. It was about taking my pa uh, taking my parents to their homeland after 50 years. So it is like a road movie. It's a two-hour long feature documentary. So we travel uh, there in Bangladesh. We try to uh, find the village and also some relatives who uh, uh, were living there, and also the nature and the people. And simultaneously, we had another narrative, parallel narrative going on, which talks about the history of partition and this, uh, the crisis of the refugees. And uh, the, second uh, film. the second film. Yeah, no, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you a little more about this film. And uh, because this uh, way back home, the first film is uh, like the most celebrated film on partition of India. So uh, uh, on the um, on the other hand, you know. Uh, the film was also very contemporary because I shot it in 2002. Uh, I was mentioning about Calcutta riot uh, which happened in 1946 in Kolkata from which all these riots and uh, massacres started happening one after another. So when I came back after shooting in 2002 in India, then Gujarat riot happened. So, uh, so the so I connected the, the all the history of India with these two events: forty-six Calcutta riot and two thousand two Gujarat riot, and try to uh, uh, explore the story in a way so that it it become very contemporary. And uh, this and the films are uh, I mean uh, were well also not about just uh, recording memories. It was also about to try to find out. Uh, the possibility of reconciliation because you don't if you don't reconcile with your uh, uh, community from other religion uh, I mean the citizens from other religion or your neighboring country you won't survive as a nation so reconciliation is also very important and learn learning from the history so after making this film I realized that well, well, uh, we need to more. more, yeah. So the next film was like Hope Dies Last in War. It is not directly about partition, but it deals with how India and Pakistan emerged as the biggest enemy and who suffered for that. Forget about the normal citizens. Well, we are in that film. Uh, we deal with a group of Indian soldiers who were uh, taken as prisoners of war in Pakistan, but they never uh, came back. Although there are many evidences that they are there. So, it, the, this film is about the uh, struggle of the fam family who wanted their uh, fathers, sons, uh, uh, brothers to be back again. And it is also about the kind of uh, 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 very weird kind of diplomatic war uh, fought between India and Pakistan. So, you see the fallout of Pakistan in that film. Then I met, uh, made Waga. Waga is a very short documentary, but it, it, it has been shown all over the world because it's, it look at the partition or division or border from child's children's perspective of view. So, it is uh, see I was al also very uh, anxious about the future of the subcontinent and you know what is happening now uh, in India and Pakistan and Bangladesh. You know it is a very very complicated complex and uh, very difficult situation for human being uh, because the kind of uh, way the politics shaped up recently in our subcontinent. That is one part of uh, no, your films and uh, the latest film swimming through the no, darkness is about a blind boy you know, swimming yeah. and you know, winning. You know. Well, tell us something about uh, the uh, about the film and uh, your experience uh, with this. See, I mean, b most of my films always remain very uh, political, and uh, I always uh, try to b deal with uh, social and political issues. Uh, but majorly, my films are character driven. You know, I I I I, I uh, try to depend on strong characters to tell my. Uh, stories and my philosophy, politics or world vision, whatever I have. I need characters to uh, 
uh, translate that vision through cinema. Uh, so, uh, in this story actually uh, see we always uh, see the social issues and uh, people as a collective and their struggle and uh, uh, yeah in their life, but uh, uh, on the individual level. Uh, many people are fighting. So, I found this very marginal character, he is poor, he is blind and he has taken up sports which, which is a very amazing thing. I mean and when I met this people, I um, met this man, I found he is so dignified, he never uh, thought himself to be unable or disabled quote unquote. So, so I wanted to explore his uh, journey, you know there is a very famous quotation of uh, Helen Keller that uh, uh, life is either a, a dangerous adventure or nothing. So, this man actually represent that quote so well, so for him it is a very dangerous journey, it is very challenging journey, but on the other hand it is very satisfying also, because through this process he retained his dignity, because in our society you know the, the especially and for the specially unable pe uh, able people there is uh, not much opportunity, nothing. We have the like uh, the biggest number of unemployed blind people in our country, in the world you know. So, so this story talks about this individual struggle uh, for dignity, for identity and it goes very deep. In, in fact, it is really an Indian documentary which deals with personal relationship in a very deeper way. So, it is also about his love life, it is also about his aspiration dreams. So, it, it, it become like a you know fairy tale kind of a experience. Uh, I would like to ask you now about uh, the, the entire cinema is changing, a lot of uh, conversion, a lot of submerging of various forms and uh, you know, digital at, at one side and, uh, uh, and uh, painting and sculpting and you know, all those things are coming. Uh, so, uh, what is the you know, kind of cinema as a documentary filmmaker? you are visualizing now the cinema. See, I mean um, uh, I believe in pure cinema and uh, I believe in storytelling. So, whatever experimentation happens uh, uh, in my film that is mostly in structure level. So, I do not try to put in external elements uh, uh, to, uh, to to uh, experiment with uh, like visual treatment or something. In fact, uh, I do not uh, uh, I do not address a particular story from uh, from a preconceived notion of form or something. It is um, uh, the kind of film I make uh, the form emerges from the experience and whatever experimentation uh, I do is mostly with the structure not uh, like uh, visuals and so, uh, on the surface level my films are very simple, very accessible. Uh, I am lucky that um, many of my films uh, got critical acclamation, but I am really lucky that most of my documentaries are actually very popular with normal audience. Uh, many of my films won uh, 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 audience award in many festivals. Way Back Home is the first uh, commercial, uh, first uh, documentary in India which was commercially released and I had successful screening of that film. So, I make film for normal audience that is my prerogative and I, I am a storyteller. So, I do not know do much uh, uh, experimentation with uh, like uh, uh, like hybrid uh, kind of uh, things and uh, bring in lot of uh, 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 other uh, visual or other kind of expressions in my film. Of course, I use music, I use poetry in my film, but not like very radical way. Uh, it is uh, on the other hand, it is it's, it's a traditional way, but for me it is very important. See, uh, most of my films look like fiction, you know. I do not manipulate, I do not use actors, I do not tell my character to do anything, I do not create any situation, but my film the way I sh shoot it, the way I edit it and the way I structure my film, it, it look like fiction. 
So, that is my challenge you know in a documentary situation create a certain kind of uh, language without manipulation without much manipulation I mean like unethical manipulation to create a uh, kind of uh, experience which uh, can only fiction film can offer. So, I think my experimentation goes to that level. I think you are coming you know first time in Kerala are you? No, no, no first time in Trishur I have oh. been yeah. See, so, how do you find uh, the Kerala festival basically the science festival and as a jury person what is your experience about Kerala? See first of all you have a great film society movement uh, and like it is uh, uh, yeah, but by, by Bengali uh, film society movement. Uh, has long died down in recent years they are trying to uh, uh, reorganize again and uh, uh, actively doing something whereas you have like consistent film society movement that is why I think in Kerala you get uh, much conscious uh, and concerned and intelligent I mean uh, aware oh, yeah. audience yeah. here because yeah yeah because you have been a uh, uh, you have been consistently creating that space, creating audience. So, that is a very special uh, feeling for me always I mean I always feel very happy to be in Kerala because you uh, there is opportunity to get great audience and about this festival you know it, it is very difficult to run this kind of festivals for with uh, a, a small budget you know uh, because see uh, the interest uh, around documentary films especially documentary uh, in our country is uh, very less. So, uh, and uh, I believe there is a uh, strange fixation about uh, fiction filmmaking uh, exi exist in our country and, and that is from all level from audience to the people who are funding from critics from writers no one ca cares about this art form. So, at that point of time when a uh, very uh, not financially very rich organization like science keep on uh, continuing this uh, documentary short film festival for 13 years and like inviting filmmakers from all over uh, India uh, uh, placing their uh, works in front of uh, the audience and uh, having discourse discussion around uh, the marginal form of cinema like documentary and short in itself it is a great um, uh, thing they have been doing and uh, I am very happy to be here I uh, like science offered me great hospitality. So, it is organized by very uh, genuine uh, film en enthusiast I mean very senior fellows who still have the energy of young people. So, yeah it is a very good experience. In, in this context I would like to ask you one thing since you have mentioned that uh, there is a, a, a you know inclination uh, towards a feature film what is happening is uh, what I find is a lot of people young, young filmmakers start as short film documentary filmmaker and they use this as a stepping stone towards uh, feature film as if their ultimate aim is to make a uh, you know, feature film. So, oh, 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 but you are still you know, sticking on documentary. Yeah, it was it was very difficult because forget about money and audience. I mean, there is always a pressure that your friends are have become very famous fiction filmmakers, right. and he, and uh, hardly people know you because you stick to documentary. But uh, the thing is, documentary offered me. A, I mean. Uh, so many things I mean it's it's a, it's a it's a very wide and vast medium and uh, you know if you uh, keep the track of international documentary it's emerged like anything it's it's diverse it's it's experimental it's dealing with amazing issues um, amazing people and also because it is uh, uh, less controlled by capital and because the uh, accessibility uh, of technology and uh, it is it's becoming more and more interesting. So, documentary is really a living medium and thriving medium and uh, if you follow the fiction filmmaking for last 20 years see how much language and aesthetics are taken from documentary filmmaking. Uh, from like sing sound to uh, real life characters to uh, 
uh, you know the way the short uh, sequence are being shot has completely changed. It is I believe it is totally the contribution of documentary filmmaking uh, or the aesthetics of documentary on which fiction films are surviving now. So, but in our country people fail to address this thing. So, it was not very easy for me to uh, remain as a documentary filmmaker for such a long time and uh, without uh, much support and much uh, especially distribution support like uh, the kind of film I made uh, I believe it should have reached much more audience because it's 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 it has been very relevant uh, uh, for the time we passed through hmm. uh, you have won a lot of uh, awards in India and abroad lot of lot, lot many awards uh, and uh, 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 my wishes to you for winning more awards making more films uh, and a uh, fruitful filmmaking yeah wish me I, uh, that I, I can win the heart of the audience yeah, yeah. and more Definitely. more hearts more hearts, right? more hearts. yeah our, uh, i now i need number <laughs> Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank we you. We have little bit of time, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Hope uh, you have enjoyed this. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Thank you.